Okay, this afternoon we're at Great Lakes, uh, the Kalamazoo Installation Center. And today what we're going to do is test um, the Great Lakes Electronic Corrosion Module to show you that it actually is working on a vehicle. This happens to be my company car, my Ford Edge, and I have the module plugged in. So what I'm going to do now is turn up the scanner, this handheld scanner I have in my hand. When I turn this up, you can hear the squeal. As I walk around the car, you can hear it. And obviously, when I get closer to where the module is installed, it really goes off. And to prove the point, I'm going to set the, the scanner down for a minute. And I unhooked it. As soon as I do that, you can tell it's not working. When I plug it back in, the scanner now is picking up the signal that, that the module is broadcasting. It broadcasts between 1. Uh, 1. 1.1 and 1.4 megahertz. Plug that back in. So it does show it is working. It's actually sending the pulse out throughout the sheet metal. And it stays dormant until something happens. I'm going to turn this down. Like a stone chip or a scratch. Normally on a car like this with galvanized sheet metal, if you get a stone chip, you would get zinc oxide, white powder forming, which is the galvanized coating the factory puts on the metal to protect it. Once the air hits that, it wants to use itself up. Once the zinc is gone, and then of course you have bare sheet metal, and you'll get a brown spot, and eventually you could get a hole, perforation through the panel. What the module does is by sending the pulse wave out, it keeps the zinc in place so that uh, even on a panel like this that is galvanized sheet metal, you get a stone chip, you might get a little bit uh, of white, but it won't use itself up, it won't turn brown, and it won't get a hole. That's how the module works. Um, weird science, but very effective and been tested by a number of independent laboratories, uh, as well as a major U.S. auto manufacturer, uh, that the science actually does work.